Hi, my name is Michael and I'm head of Keysight Solution Center for E-Mobility Test Systems. We are here at our site in Bochum, Germany, where most of our battery and charging test systems are developed. Today, I would like to provide you an overview regarding fast charging. As the battery capacity of new electric vehicles often surpasses 70 kilowatt hours, range anxiety is becoming less and less of a problem. But a superior range and rapid growth of total public EVSE installations alone won't lead e-mobility to conquer the mass market. The products also need to be mature. In order to make ICE cars entirely obsolete, electric vehicles must become truly long-range capable. For that, an EV driver must rely on the next charging point on his road being operational and interoperable with his vehicle. That might sound trivial, but in fact it isn't. Although we are in the middle of a wave of next-gen electric vehicles being launched by all major car manufacturers, charging interoperability still isn't solved yet. Let me explain why. First, similar to the introduction of Wi-Fi two decades ago, the interface itself is now specified within national and international standards, but usually don't contain the according conformance test specifications. Thus, there is no harmonized quality or certification process available yet. Secondly, charging interfaces differ from region to region and car manufacturer to car manufacturer. Several standards coexist so that OEMs with global markets cannot really focus on just one implementation. Finally, the first DC charging stations were only specified up to 50 kilowatt. As EV batteries become bigger, the charging performance becomes even more important. In order to recharge a battery by 400 kilometers of range in under 10 minutes, it requires an electrical power of 350 kilowatts and more. This rapid evolution of technology creates multiple challenges as for example, how to handle downward compatibility. Effectively, this makes certain parts of published standards obsolete, even before they are fully adopted by the market. The good news, Keysight can help to deal with these challenges. Let us move to our lab and see how. at the high voltage test lab and this is a charging discovery system. This device is now connected to a CCS car and it is able to emulate an EVSE of any type. So basically the customer can either run a normative charging session or he injects test cases in order to perform any kind of conformance or interoperability test. The same device is also able to be connected to a charging station and then act as an EV. Now this device is able to not only test CCS charging but actually also to support any other charging protocols available today. Let us show you how to swap the inlet in order to demonstrate the modularity of the system. The modularity of the system has another benefit. Customer can upgrade, for example, charging cables or inlets in the future. For instance, this charging adapter is rated for 200 amps, but recently different suppliers announced 350 amps cables. So our customers can benefit by purchasing these at a later point of time. If this amount of current is not enough, then 
the customer is covered by a new generation of the charging discovery system and I'm going to show the second generation now. Conventional charging cables such as this one are already heavy and yet limited to the maximum DC charging current. In order to overcome that, liquid cooled charging cables have been introduced. Here to the right you see the high power charging discovery system which supports any kind of liquid cooled charging cables. This particular one is CCS type 2. And this works because the second CDS unit on the right contains a cooling unit which together with this particular cable allows up to 600 amps of DC current. Moreover, this system is designed for 1500 volts as a maximum rated DC voltage. Taking both specifications together this system is already future-proof to support the next Chinese and Japanese charging standard, which is Chao G, respectively Chademo 3.0. The SignLab CDS High Power Series is a modular test system which allows all necessary conformance and interoperability tests according to worldwide charging standards with one test system. The second cabinet, the cooling unit, supports interchangeable liquid-cooled charging adapters. Therefore, the CDS enables testing high-power charging interfaces of EVs and EVSE up to 1,500 volts DC and 600 amps DC. Our solution provides a small cabinet design and rolls, which makes it easily movable and storable wherever and whenever necessary. The CDS High Power Series is available in two variants which differ by higher charging power. You can choose between 1,500 and 1,000 volt DC, which can be easily upgraded via a software upgrade when needed. Once the new Charge Incha 3.0 cables become available, our customers can upgrade easily their system, which they purchased today, by simply swapping this cassette. So basically, it's the same approach as available for the portable series. Of course, the high power CDS, equally to the portable CDS, supports the entire range of AC and DC emulators from Keysight. Here on the left, you can see the newest AC emulator uh, for 45 kVA or 90 kVA. Both systems are able to do both AC and DC emulation and are bidirectional so they can be used as a power source or a power node. So combining these or other emulators from Synap with the charging discovery system enables the customer to really benefit from the full range of use cases and applications that the CDS provides. To learn more about our charging test solutions, Please watch our other videos. Thank you.